Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this IQ Z3 uh, and it says it's a 5G smartphone. So we'll have a look and guys, I don't know the exact pricing of this smartphone. Uh, uh, this comes with the new Snapdragon actually uh, 768 uh, processor and uh, I'm hearing rumors that the base variant of this uh, that is having six gigabytes of RAM will be priced somewhere around 20 to 21,000. And we also have an eight GB uh, RAM variant. So those are the variants. I'll add the exact pricing in the description guys once we know the same. And uh, here is it, uh, the phone, and they say it's a 5G capable phone. But here, if you look at it, 5G, it only has two bands of 5G. N77 and N78. So that's slightly on the disappointing side. They should have given more 5G bands claiming that they are claiming 5G over here. So this is the phone that we have. It'll be interesting to see the pricing. So here it comes and here also it says IQ embossed and uh, looks like as this comes out. Uh, this is your USB cable type A to type C. And it says 55 watt over here. We'll just keep that to the side. And SIM ejector tool over here. Bunch of booklets and SAR values. Some of you keep asking me. Uh, it is uh, 0 0.94 for the head and 0 0.75 for the body. It's actually nice. Lower, it's better in terms of SAR. And here is the transparent case that we get. I'll just keep these things to the side for now. And take out the handset. This is the first time I am also seeing this. So some IMI numbers. So let's take this out now, let's slide it out like this. And uh, here is the device guys. Uh, it has a triple camera. Uh, the main camera is supposed to be that 64 megapixel, then eight megapixel we have ultra wide. And then again, we have the two megapixel rubbish uh, uh, camera that is a macro camera. It says IQ over here. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. We'll look at this later. Let's see what else do we get. And we get this massive, big charger guys this is really big and it says vivo flash charge this is a 55 watt charger and just to give you an idea how big the charger is as you can see it has the type uh, a port so that's what we get in the box so i'll just keep that to the side and uh, let's look at the handset itself it does not feel that heavy guys and um, let me give you a physical overview on the top actually we have the sim tray itself and it's nice to see uh, we also have a what do you say a secondary noise cancellation microphone and uh, guys uh, this is not going to have an amoled screen it's an ips lcd screen uh, but it supports 120 hertz it has a rubber gasket over here so that's interesting and it's a hybrid slot that we are getting guys uh, so two micro uh, uh, what do you say uh, sims that you can put nano sims or you can have one nano sim and a micro SD card also so that's what it is and uh, here if we move we have the volume rocker and the fingerprint scanner come power on off button uh, these we are seeing a lot these days I actually uh, like that because uh, these are very fast we look at this one and bottom will be your speaker and uh, this is your type C port main microphone fortunately a 3.5 mm headphone jack I'm happy and here this is completely empty uh, back we have the IQ branding so let me do one thing let me just power this on and guys I'll set this up and then we will continue so guys I have set up this uh, smartphone so let's have a closer look at the save now and uh, as you can see guys uh, uh, it's, this is coming with the new uh, Funtouch uh, UI this is closer to stock I would say and quick toggles over here that we have and uh, though it's an IPS LCD screen, it does support that 120 hertz, I'll show you. And if you go over here, uh, there is some junkware that is pre-installed, as you can see this MOJ, let's see if we can uninstall it. Yes, you can remove it, let's see Snapchat. Yes, there is some junkware that is installed guys, but you can uninstall some of the junk that is uh, pre-installed on this one. It'll be interesting to see how they price the base variant that's at six gigabytes of RAM and 128. This uh, review unit, what they have sent us, is the eight gigabyte RAM variant with 256 gigabytes of storage. And if you go towards the left, you get the Google uh, Now pane. Uh, so that uh, that that's what I like. It's becoming closer to stock, I would say. And uh, here if I go, 
uh, here are the settings and if you go to display guys uh, here we have the auto brightness and all those things and uh, here down if you go here we have the re refresh rate by default it was set to the smart switch where it will automatically switch but i'm forcing it to 120 hertz as you can see and it feels very smooth and guys uh, uh, the moment i got this smartphone i got one ot update so i had applied that and as you can see this is the higher end variant that comes with eight gigabytes of ram i was touting this virtual ram for example with eight gigabytes it says you'll get a uh, plus 3 gigabytes of RAM, so total of 11 gigabytes, it's virtual memory. Uh, and with the 6 gigabytes uh, RAM variant, you get 1 GB of extra virtual RAM. So that's what it is. Comes out of the box with that Android 11, as you can see. And uh, uh, this is the Snapdragon 768G. This is the new one, guys. And um, the higher core is clocked at 2.8 gigahertz on this one. So the gaming performance should be actually good. And according to Ico, guys, uh, uh, they say that this uh, variant has actually 5 layers layers of uh, cooling and even has liquid cooling so hopefully uh, it should be good with gaming because it has the adreno 620 gpu and it's clocked at 750 megahertz so that'll be interesting and the handset feels light i'll add over here how much does it weigh but simply does not feel that heavy and guys this is ips lcd screen so no always on or anything but we have the fingerprint scanner over here and the moment you touch it unlocks guys so that's what we have and it looks like it's a fast uh, fingerprint uh, scanner uh, the back uh, looks that plastic and it's a fingerprint magnet guys as you can see so used with the supplied case i would say and uh, now let's also look at the camera on this one the ui feels fluid this is at 120 hertz i'm not seeing any lag and again we shouldn't get any lag this snapdragon 768 is a pretty powerful uh, processor uh, but now let's also look at the camera on this one i'm having high hopes because it's a iq phone and generally iq phones are having decent camera so this is the camera interface let me bring an object and uh, we have the ultra wide that's 8 um, megapixel this is the main is 64 and we also have digital zoom up to 2x on this one and if we go over here we have uh, different modes that we are having uh, of course uh, photo mode portrait night mode all those things and front facing default it's going to the portrait mode and you can adjust the amount of bokeh that is background blur via this night mode we have and this is the regular photo mode uh, which disables all the filters by default it was going to the portrait mode that's interesting so let me do one thing let me actually take some sample shots to give you an idea regarding the camera i couldn't go outdoors so all these samples are shot in artificial lighting in my office and as you can see even in artificial lighting the camera performance is good this is a regular shot and this was that uh, ultra wide angle another example regular shot and uh, this was that ultra wide angle now moving to human subjects again these were taken in completely artificial lighting and uh, this was the portrait mode it whitens up the screen in the portrait regular shot this was that portrait mode and this was that ultra wide now moving to front facing camera i feel the front facing camera performance is also very good as you can see it's very sharp uh, but in portrait mode it, the effect is good but it uh, whitens up your skin a little bit so guys uh, this is the iQOO z3 uh, what do you guys feel about the same do let me know in the comment section uh, below uh, i'll try to make uh, more videos on this one in fact i'll try to compare it with some other smartphones that are around this price point and i'll include uh, try to include a lot more camera samples in that video so again i want to know what do you feel about this iQOO z3 uh, do let me know in the comment section below. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.